Hi there, my name is Samuel and welcome back to another video where today we shall be taking a look at the set 76184 Spider-Man vs Mysterio Drone Attack which of course is to do with Spider-Man Far From Home, Holland's second movie and this does include 73 pieces and this does retail for £18, 20 dollars and 20 euros and this does include three minifigures which finally we have got the black suit Spider-Man which honestly is really exciting and you can actually see for this video what I've done this time around I've actually put the vehicles in the back because really the main focus and honestly I think the main reason anyone's going to get this set is because of like the minifigures because I'm not going to lie the builds aren't good and some junior sets like I've said before are really good and this one really has dropped the ball even as a kid I don't think I would have enjoyed it I'm not going to lie like it's not really that substantial in any way but still you do have the minifigures and Mysterio which technically is more accurate which honestly he actually needed gold boots if he had had dual molded legs with gold boots that figure literally would have been pretty much perfect would have been nice to have a um, Quinton Beck face print but nevertheless this still is a pretty awesome figure set let's just talk about that the mini figures but let's take a look at the figures and then we'll take a look at the extras i mean the, the build honestly the way i look at it the figures are the main focus those are just extras let's take a look at the spider-man minifigure so starting off by taking a look at the black suit which was used in the end of spider-man far from home this honestly show off the bat is such an incredible minifigure taking a look at the leg printing it honestly is done pretty perfect mine originally had massive like gray scratches but i did manage to get replacements so that was really good and that lego do that still but yeah taking a look you can see that they're honestly this minifigure i think looks absolutely fantastic the printing is honestly really good then the face print i believe is actually the same one from the cmf so that is a little disappointing but hey it is okay i guess the other one might have looked better but i don't know i still think this does work pretty well you can see that taking a look at all of the printing honestly this minifigure i think is just done really well there's no arm printing but still i don't think it need arm printing so yeah that is what the minifigure looks like it honestly is such a great one to finally get and the fact it's in a cheap set though it would have been better to get it in more like a bigger set but still nevertheless it's really cool we most probably maybe we'll get it in a no way home set something like that but there you can see the web as well which is pretty awesome next up we have the mysterio minifigure which honestly i think this minifigure looks absolutely fantastic the dome originally i weren't too sure but it definitely is a much an improvement when i have a look at the original which i will compare in a minute and when i have a look at like the marketing and the shots and the stuff from the movie it honestly does look much better this mysterio i think is pretty much perfected now well apart from one thing which i have already mentioned in the intro but this actually figure should actually have dual molded bo boots if they were gold and they sort of went up to a little bit of green then the gold knee pads it literally would be perfect so it's a shame that we haven't got that or face print but still nevertheless this figure honestly is pretty much perfect apart from the dual molded legs this suit is literally perfected so there you can see the back printing it honestly is a shame that they didn't do that but i mean i sort of get why we've already got the spider-man figure so if we quickly put him there and show the old one that's what he looked like honestly it is just such a massive improvement i didn't even realize how much gold was on his suit until i thought about it but yeah the legs actually are also a little bit different so that is really neat there's honestly a lot more detail so yeah this figure almost is perfect i'm hoping that the next time we've really gone a long way so i'm hoping like the third version will have this maybe a little bit more detail but honestly detail isn't as important all we need now is just the um dual moldy boots and that'll be awesome and perfect so yeah there is the mysterious figure which still i think is a rather good uh, upgrade so then taking a look at the nick fury minifigure you can see that it has these really weird junorized guns junorized that's not even a word but hey i've just made it one which honestly look better than the stud shooters but still it's not that great but then taking a look at his front printing you can see what it looks like honestly i think the printing looks pretty neat you know i think it is done really well it is a pretty cool minifigure the leg printing works really well from the harry potter i want to say and his face does look really cool there the printing is really nice though it honestly would have been nice if they'd given him maybe an anger expression or a, a raised eyebrow there something a little bit different or even cooler what if they actually had the eye patch lifted up I, I know it wouldn't make sense but hey it'd at least be different but yeah i think this is a really neat minifigure so then taking a look at the drone itself you can see that this honestly doesn't look too great it's honestly not that accurate i know it's mostly not meant to be the most accurate but this literally looks nothing like the source material not even like an attempt at it you know it really doesn't work you can see we have like the guns at the front which i guess that's a little bit right but apart from that it doesn't really work you can see we have the angle plating there we have the green tile at the back and you can press that in and shoot that out which i mean that's okay but it's nothing special it really isn't you can see that there and size um to the minifigure comparison look how big it is it honestly is way too big so yeah that is what the drone looks like you can see we have those little holes there and 
everything. So, yeah, there is the drone. So then taking a look at the spy car here, you can see, honestly, this isn't too bad of a build. It's not accurate, but aside from it not being accurate, I don't think it's a bad build moving around. You can see the side there. We have a couple of clips. We have a handle for the characters to hold on to at the back. I presume it's maybe for, like, Spider-Man to do a hold on it. I'm not too sure but i mean that does sort of make sense for then taking a look you can actually slot a nick fury blasters on the back there so that is pretty cool i have to admit the fact that you can do that and if we actually remove the window shield you actually can put the minifigure in technically you can do it without but i wanted to show you the interior there you can see that it isn't too much of an interior you can see that there so yeah that is what fury looks like in there it honestly looks a little bit silly like he can't even see with his eye line it's literally right in the bar so i mean there you go he can actually see now but yeah that's what it looks like i mean it's pretty cool i do like getting these juniorized pieces it's quite interesting to see so yeah that's what the car looks like it is honestly a really weird one and there's no real way for you to hold on with this so i'm not really sure but hey it is more of a figure pack as i say so there we have it i hope you did enjoy this video overall i think this set honestly quite controversial here but it's good because yeah take these away the figures are honestly worth it the fact that we get the exclusive black suit spider-man here and the new mysterio which honestly is a massive improvement from the last one and we get nick fury in the cheap set it honestly is really good and it's cool to see these classic web pieces back which we've not had as much so that is absolutely fantastic and for me it honestly is such a good thing to have those um figures here it's honestly really nice a good mysterio which honestly is such a nice upgrade from this one still not completely perfect with the dual molded boot but apart from that it is definitely a much better step up and the spider-man definitely is absolutely incredible shame not mine did have a bit of damage but bricks and pieces fixed that for me so that wasn't no problem the like customer service thing if you didn't know you can basically just say what it is and if it is a if they warrant it to be enough of a problem they will replace it so that was really good but yeah this honestly is it's a really weird one it's a good set in the sense of figures but also i think the price is actually a bit steep this really i know it is expensive because of the mini figures but this should have been no more than 15 pounds it really shouldn't i know it's three pounds less but that still is where it should be so yeah thank you all for watching this video what do you think leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and until the next video see you there bye for now